before we talk about Detroit, all the legal words come out tomorrow. Can you maybe speak on the season that Cameron Morris has had and you know being able to lead the league in scoring for sophomore? Yeah, I mean, he's had a tremendous year, and I, and I think the. You know, I think the thing that makes it, um, you know, so impressive is his, is his consistency. Um, you know, you, you end up, uh, I commented this to our staff after the game the other night that, you know, you go back <clears throat> every game, you look at the stat sheet and, you know, you just, you don't realize that what's, you know, when it's happening, but he's at 18, 20, 23, 24, 25, and, um, you know, he's just answered the bell every night. He's had a heck of a year. <clears throat> How about with Detroit? You know, obviously you played a couple tight contests with them. When you take with yeah, we've had, you know, we've really had two great games with him, and, and <clears throat> the difference in the games have been about a four-minute stretch. Um, at home, we had a five out of six possession uh, turnover stretch at uh, – like at the five-minute mark to the three-minute mark, that was the difference. Um, at their place, um, <clears throat> it was almost identical spots. So had a, had a chance to – he had two good looks at, the, <clears throat> you know, under a minute to go ahead. Had guys that we want shooting it to go ahead and um, didn't make them. So um, obviously it's going to be on a neutral floor and – should be exciting to you know to, to be a part of that in Detroit. So we're excited about that game. <clears throat> yeah, I mean we you know we probably would have had a home game out of it. You know what I mean? But the bottom line to it is you know Dana, it's it's just fair. I mean it's uh, <clears throat> obviously the the league is still you know heavily tilted to the number one and two seeds with. You know, the games and double buys and, you know, even the format changes always are, you know, it, as you look at it, really pun not punish, if you will, but favor <clears throat> the top seeds, you know what I mean, right on through. So, um, so that being said, with all the seeding, the way it favors, you know, the, the one and two seeds, it's nice to have the tournament on a neutral court, at least to play on. No, uh, no, nah, they put all you know. They can put five guys on the floor. Um, you know, they can put five guys on the floor that are all guards, but with decent size. Uh, that's been, you know, that's been an issue for us in both games where we try to play a little bit of man to man, or we are playing man to man a lot more, and then all of a sudden they, you know, they're putting, you know, like the basket at the five or. You know, I mean, one of those six, seven, six, eight guys that are really guards, and I think that's been a matchup problem that they've had all year long with us. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, both teams like to, you know, both teams like to play up tempo. Both teams want to push it and go. Both teams will take quick shots. Um, It'll be interesting to see if a you know a floor that you've only been on for an hour you know and, and that will have any effect on you know the shooting or the offensive. I think both programs are sitting around these next couple of days and trying to figure out a way to play better defensively. <laughs>